Thank you. New developments tonight in a story we've been tracking since February. The leader of a group known as Dads Against Predators this bitch ass. He's trying to fuck a 13 year old boy. is speaking out after police threatened to prosecute if he and other members don't stand down. So, this yeah, guy's here hey. to be the 13 year old boy. No. But the group says it's exposing child sex predators. You, you want to take him to get a milkshake, right, Marcus? No, I didn't. You didn't. Roxanne Elias talked to some who don't agree. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Caustic Cubicle. We've got another Pred group to talk about. This is coming in just a few days ago. This is news that I stumbled upon. This is a self-proclaimed predator hunting group known as Dads Against Predators. And as you saw from the intro video, they've had some experience with being in the news and being on the bad side of sheriff's departments. Uh, but the thing we're here to talk about today mostly is this recent catch. So to get into the catch first and foremost, and then we're going to show you the footage. This article's coming in from Town Hall. New York prosecutor resigns after getting caught trying to meet 13-year-old boy. So this prosecutor, this was a prosecutor that worked for the DA's office in New York in the Bronx District. His name was William C.C. Kemp Neal. He was caught by Dads Against Predators, who do a lot of what essentially Pred Poachers does as posing online as minors uh, to solicit a meetup from potential predators. Um, the difference is uh, the controversy surrounding Dads Against Predators is they don't confront and ask questions a lot like Pred Poachers do. Um, they violently assault a lot of these predators. Now, I personally, in in my moral fiber don't see a problem with this especially when they've been caught red-handed however as i've stated before laws exist for a reason so at the end of the day that may give immediate justice but you're potentially putting yourself and the people around you in public in danger especially because they've had scenarios where um specific instances have happened but first tonight, we're learning new details about the incident that forced an evacuation at a Winston-Salem target Tuesday evening. Police confirmed that the incident involved a group called Dads Against Predators. This connects the incident to a news conference the police department held just over 24 hours later about the dangers of vigilante-led task forces. In the new timeline released by police this evening, investigators say that three men with Dads Against Predators, or DAP, lured a man to Target through the social media app Meetup Tuesday night. Once the man was in the Target, police say the DAP men approached and confronted him. They see at least one of the men part of the group was recording the interaction on his cell phone. Police say a fight broke out and the man they say was lured there took out a handgun and fired one round, shooting one of the group's men in the leg. Regarding the way they behave in their investigation. Uh, to give you a little bit of insight on that, Dads Against Predators was founded in Ohio in 2020 by Josh Mundy and Jay Cornicom, both of whom pose as minors on the internet for the purpose of luring adult men into filmed real-life confrontations. As of 2021, the group was publishing their recordings of its confrontations on Patreon and YouTube. Now, I could not find the YouTube to link. I'm hoping by the time this edits, I will. If not, I'm sure if you search them enough, you'll find it. So, sorry, Dads Against Predators. If I didn't properly, uh, properly link you guys in the bio, I couldn't find it. But in October 2020... The Sandusky County Sheriff's Office and Fremont Police Department threatened to press charges against Dads Against Predators, stating that the group's careless and reckless regard for the law and order and due process has resulted in the loss of life and the situation has gotten out of hand. One of the group's leaders, Josh Mundy, denied that the organization had engaged in any illegal activity. As of 2021, the group was alleged to have been tied to the suicides of three people that it had accused of sexual misconduct. The leaders of the organization denied having any responsibility for the incident. Now, as we discussed in the one involving the predator poacher incident, um, when, unless you are 
directly involved in bullying somebody into it. Um, you cannot hold somebody else liable for somebody uh, committing an act of violence on themselves based on crimes that they were caught committing. That is not that person's, the, the dads against predators fault. It's not. What is their fault is uh, the blatant assaults on people and uh, potentially putting the public in danger. If you want to assault somebody, fine. Do it in private. Do it at their home. If you want to risk breaking laws, fine. Do it on their property. Whatever. But don't put innocent people in public at risk. And by innocent people in public, I do mean parking garages, as in the video tonight. I do mean in shopping centers. Um, if you're going to go about it recklessly, don't put other people in fucking danger. What you're doing is noble, but you're doing it stupid. Quit it. So now we're going to cover a couple incidents. This is the death of Robert Lee. On September 29th, 2023, Dads Against Predators member Robert Lee was fatally shot after attempting to punch two teenagers in a restaurant in Pontiac, Michigan. The 40-year-old man died in the hospital the day after the encounter. According to Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bucard, as of October 2023, no evidence has been found that the shooting was related to the vigilante sting. So this is unrelated as far as we know, but this is factual. This, this did happen. According to police, in two different occasions prior to his death, Lee had been charged for destroying property of people who were not targets of his sting operations. And in one instance, he had accused an innocent person of a sexual crime. A CNN article describes some videos published by Lee in social media as appearing to show him, quote, engaging in violent confrontations with alleged predators. Yeah, it's assault, dude. A lot of shit you guys do is assault. I'm all for it. Don't put the public at risk and don't accuse people unless you have hard-backed evidence. It's, it's as simple as that, dude. You need to stop jumping the gun, man. Wait a little bit. If, if they're blatantly saying this person was innocent and, you, you know, you accuse them, like, maybe, maybe take a little bit of time. Take a breather. The 2022 Haynes Mall Boulevard shooting. On June 28th, 2022, three members of Dads Against Predators were involved in a shooting at a Target store on Haynes Mall Boulevard, a shopping mall located in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. According to police, three members of DAP, D-A-P, lured a man to the target using a social media account, after which one vigilante assaulted the target, an incident that was caught by the camera of one of the vigilantes. The target then slapped the camera and a fight ensued, during which he shot Cornicom, one of the group's leaders, in the leg. The target of the vigilante's group subsequently drove to a local hospital where he was treated for minor injuries in the head. January 2023, the Winston-Salem Police Department issued an arrest warrant for each of the three vigilantes associated with the shooting. It also charged the man they had lured for carrying a concealed gun. The assistant chief of the Fremont Police Department stated that he was not surprised by the shooting because he said the organization had been banned from several Ohio stores due to their meetups, often culminating into violence. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you're going to do this stuff. Put your, you need to put your emotions aside. If you're going to perform a form of fan, vigilantism or public service, as I consider it, put your emotions aside. You're there to represent the other dads against predators, right? Yeah, we all would like to do that. But you're putting yourself, which you may not care about, but the general public in fucking danger too. So you're actually causing damage. So tone it back. Get more evidence. And take a take a play out of out of your colleagues, out of, out of the fellow groups that do stuff like this. Non-confrontational, you know, get enough evidence, get them arrested. There's due process. Unfortunately, we can't just go out and fucking beat these people because you're you're posing a risk to the surrounding members of society, including children, the people you claim to be out there trying to protect, including children. So just watch how fucking violent you get. But all in all, it is satisfying to watch this video you're about to see. So back to the prosecutor. New York City prosecutor suddenly resigned after he was caught allegedly trying to meet up with 13-year-old boy that he met online. 
William C.C. Kemp Neal quit his job as a prosecutor at the Bronx District Attorney's Office after a group called Dads Against Predators filmed Kemp Neal in the parking lot of a Target attempting to coerce the young male. So it is satisfying to watch. I will tell you that, Uh, especially when you find out that he is a prosecutor. He works for the DA's office. Um, So it just goes to show you that people, regardless of who they are, regardless of their public standing, people will be monsters. They're not everybody, but there is in every bracket of society, there is a predator Um, more than you think. Absolutely. Um, I think it's great that they got him in a sting. I think it's great that he's been publicly exposed. Um, It is satisfying to watch the sting, to watch the catch. Um, But you guys are doing it wrong. You're doing, yeah, we all want to do what you did. We all want to do these violent confrontations. But if you had any fucking brains about it, you wouldn't be putting the public at risk. At least this one was in a parking garage and not in a store. So thank you for that one. And um, I may get backlash for my opinions on this, but um, have some common sense, man. You know, what good does it do to catch a predator who could be potentially be harming children or could harm children in the future if you're going to do it in an area where he could pull a gun out and potentially harm children around you in the fucking store? Sounds a little counterproductive to me, but you know. Anyway, let's take a look at this clip. This bitch ass, he's trying to fuck a 13 year old boy. Oh no. Yes, you are. Hey, what you here doing, Marcus? You trying to meet a 13 year old boy? Yeah, you trying to meet a 13 year old boy, Marcus? No. This yeah, you trying hey. to meet a 13 year old boy? No, hey, you you want to take him to get a milkshake, right, Marcus? No, I didn't. You didn't, Marcus? Now you got your ass in a fucking full Nelson right here. You're getting yoked up. Child predator in the Bronx trying to meet a 13 year old boy. That's what you get for trying to meet a fucking little, a little boy. Child predator. Child predator right here. Who was it? Yeah, you trying to get a milkshake with him, huh? Who was it? You trying, trying to get trying real to familiar. What was you trying to do? I was trying. Hey, get your ass choked the fuck up.